we are going to talk about the meaning of the derivative and second derivative. What do you think, Ms. Stewart? Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, great. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. So, so here's our little scenario. The scenario is we're looking at population of a little town. Could be the population of New Paltz during, nice. during some time period. Population as a function of time. So as you know, when I write it in function notation like this, population, this is the y value, y equals f of x. The guy in parentheses is always the x value. Right. So I'm just going to go through a few scenarios, if that's all right with you. I'm so I am going this. to put uh, time on the bottom. And let's say we're measuring time in years. Oops, let me spell years correctly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to put population on the side, and you know, this is maybe the number of people or something okay, like that live in New Paltz or someplace. Fantastic. Paltz, okay, so, good. so we could say during some particular time period, maybe I'm measuring time over a 10 year period, let's say, okay. we could say that during that time, population is increasing at a decreasing rate. Ooh, right? We're getting more people, but the growth rate is slowing. So I'm what would that look like? And then let's write some possible meaning of first and second derivative, right? Good. So I think you buy, Ms. Stewart, it would look something like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Scoot over so we Thank can look. You. That's Thank beautiful. You. Okay, so my population is increasing. In other right. words, I'm getting more people, but at a decreasing at rate. A decreasing so rate. the slope is getting less right. steep. So now let's make up some numbers. We're just making this up. Yeah. But Good. this is a typical thing. You could have population increasing at a decreasing rate. So let's say I'm looking at a particular time. Let's say maybe after five years. I'm just going to squeeze in a five like that. Okay, so we could look at what's happening. And here's what could be happening. I could write a bunch of scenarios. I could say something like f of five equals, I don't know, 10,000. What would that mean? So can I try? Yes, please. So that would mean it. at year five, mm -hmm. There are 10,000 people in this town. That's it. That's the exactly population right. of this town. We're just talking about, at some particular x value, what's the y value? That's all that this f of x means. What's the y value? What's the y Terrific. value? Terrific. We could then say something like f prime of 5 equals, I don't know, 300. Mm. Want to give that a shot? All I'll right. give that a shot. So okay. at year 5, the rate at which the population is growing is 300 people per year. Right, I'm measuring my population, and I guess I could say what I'm measuring it in, people. Or I could just say the population is growing by 300 people per year. Right, I always like to think about the units. This is yeah. right, very good. This 300, this is the slope. It's the slope at this x value, right? And the 300, of course, is my slope, which is measured in change in y, which is people per change of time measured year. So it's 300 people per year at that moment in time. Beautiful. Terrific. So derivative, slope, or yep. rate of change. the slope. And of course, we know this is a positive slope. You can look at the picture. And we could do one for a second derivative. Let's do it. Let's say again at five years. Ah, mm. now is this going to be a positive or negative number? That second case? derivative has to be negative. Must be negative. Because and, well, yeah. I'm looking at the graph, and that the original function is concave down, which we remember that means the second derivative is negative. But also, because my rate is decreasing. That's my, right. My That's slope right. is getting smaller. That's right. It's a, it's a positive slope, but the slope is decreasing. Yeah. Exactly right. So I knew this was going to be negative, and I just made up a value. So yeah. you want to tell me what this means, Ms. Stewart? So at year five... The rate at which the population is changing is decreasing by 12 people per year each year. Right. So, so it's like per year per year. That's exactly always a little right. weird. So for example, at year five, it's increasing by 300 people. But maybe at year six, it would only be increasing by, two, what's 300 minus 12? 288 people. You're, you're, you're saying right. the population. The population. Yeah, right. 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 So the rate at which the population is changing is itself changing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's increasing and decreasing rate. So hopefully that makes some sense. It so let, totally let's, makes let's sense. Let's do another one like real, real quick with this. I mean, we could just, same, same deal here, but this time, and I know I'm just using year five. Is that all right? I mean, I could use any year, but sure. whatever. Let's we stick could, with year five. Uh, why not? It's a good year. Okay, so year five. 
The year five. I remember that. I remember it year five. well. Okay. This time, I don't know, let's pick another one. Let's say population is decreasing. Could we do one like that? Sure. Let's say you want to say it's decreasing at an increasing rate or decreasing rate. In other words, it's decreasing faster and faster and faster or yeah. slower. Yeah, let's have a decreasing population. Okay, so it's going downhill. Okay. At an increasing rate. Okay, so it's decreasing faster and faster is what you're saying? Oh, now that's always a weird thing. That's a little weird thing. Or the, an increasing rate meaning a positive rate like this. Well, let's, let's yeah. do this. Let's do that. Is let's that let's see what's happening. Okay. I don't know. Is that what you intended? Uh, I don't know. We're, let's we're, see what's happening. Okay. Well, this would, this would say in words, of course, our population is decreasing but the rate at which it's decreasing is slowing. I think if I say slowing, that makes yeah, sense, right? Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. right? it's, it, you can see that it's more gradual. So let's make up some numbers. Again, I could say, I mean, it could be the same thing. I could, what sure. is it, 10,000? Yeah. So that still works. Year five, the population is 10,000. Right. Uh, the first derivative mm. must be negative, right? It's a negative slope. And again, I could just make up some number. I could make up, I don't know, negative 200 or something like that. So at year five, the population is decreasing at a rate of 200 people per year. People per year. People Absolutely. per year. Slow. Right. Got ah. It. Uh -huh. ah. The second derivative in this particular case must be positive. Because that original function is concave up. It's a concavity concave up. So I don't know. I'm making a, I'll make up a number here. Let's say 10. I don't know. So at year 5... Right. The, pop, the rate at which the population is decreasing is increasing at a rate of 10 people per year each year. Right. So, so the, again, the units are people per year per year. That's right. That's right. So if, if for example, uh, 200 people moved out at year five, right, it's, it's losing at that rate, 200 people per year, the next year it would be some value less than this, perhaps only 190 people or something like that. Right. Per year at that particular time. Right. Is, that, is that yeah making sense? That's right. making sense. Let's just do one more super quick. Yeah. Because we could have another possible scenario here. Yeah. Let's, well, there. I'm thinking of two other well, possible there's, there's scenarios. Could, we should just do them both. Let's just do them both. Oh my Why God. Not? All right. Okay. I'm having fun. Okay. Well, all right. This, are you having fun at home there? Um, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. So we we First could nine. say that uh, the population is increasing faster and faster and faster. Did we do that one? Is that was our no? We didn't do that one yet, did we? We, we did, did not do that. We did this one. No, we didn't. That's one of my favorites, too. That's a good one. All right. <laughs> so, we could, so the population of New Pulse is increasing at an increasing rate. Right. Right? Uh, so as populations often do. I don't know. I'm stuck on this 10,000. Why not? So right. at year five, the population of our town is 10,000 people. Boom. And right, clearly I have a positive slope, so this must be some positive value. Just make up something random. By the way, you, you might, I'm just calling it 500. You might notice that I'm picking smaller numbers for this than this. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense the way I'm drawing. I mean, it, this, if this is 10,000, I mean, this, the slope couldn't be 10,000. I mean, just in the way that my picture works. I mean, that's not so but, but whatever. It, anyway. Right. Okay. So what is this saying? So at year five, my population is growing at a rate of 500 people per year. People per year, terrific. And this would also have to be positive, positive because that original function is concave up. So at year five, the rate at which my population is growing is itself increasing right. by 30 increasing. people per year each, each year. year. So the rate of the rate is the second derivative. So again, next year the rate would be greater than 500 right. if, if that trend continued. Continue. Yeah. Right. Okay, great. And let's do the last one. The last one we haven't talked about. Okay, and let's see. It's... Uh, Mm, let's see, negative slope I and think. negative second derivative. Boom. 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 Wow. There it is. This is like the population of New Paltz is, is decreasing at an increasing, well, it's decreasing faster and faster it's and faster. Decreasing. Let's say faster, faster and faster and okay. faster, yeah. People are leaving in droves. Right. Probably because this video is getting too long. They're just <laughs> okay. I'm out of here. I think we've... The first thing, we've done that enough, so... Let's see, we need a negative value for the slope. Okay, let's call it negative 250. Why not? All so right. at year five, uh, the rate at which the population is going down is 250 people per year. Terrific. Or 250 people per year are leaving New Paltz, or Sure, whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
And then this is also a negative. It also has to be Let's negative. Let's call this negative 25. I don't know. I'm, you know, the 25s right. are in my brain. So year so five, the rate at which the population is decreasing is decreasing by 25 people per year each year. And that is, that is I know, saying that, you're behind the camera, so I could see you said that and went... I know. Because when you say a decreasing rate, it sounds almost like it's slowing. But hopefully this, this, is, this is a negative value, in fact, because this is concave down. And this slope is decreasing because here the slope is almost zero, and it's actually getting more and more negative. Mm -hmm. But in terms of real meaning of this thing, right? if you look at the picture, this, this does say that you, the next year you're going to be losing at a, Even more people. At a more negative rate than, yeah, a, yeah. right. Then it is a little mind bending, but little bit weird. if you just think about, if you look at the picture and you can say, okay, more and more people are leaving each year, right? Um, Correct, right. It's going to be a greater negative value. Than, right. Yes. All right, I'm I, liking it. Yeah, I think we've got them all worked out. All so right. hopefully that makes sense to you. Thank you, Mr. Ross. Right.